now. Let's talk about uh, something else that's in the news this lunchtime. The first immigration figures for the months following the EU referendum have been published. They've recorded a fall in net migration, the difference between the numbers of people arriving and leaving, of 49,000. It's the lowest level in more than two years. The ONS also reports a record number of EU nationals were granted British citizenship last year. That's the highest number since these figures were first compiled back in 1990. Well, Axel Anthony is a business consultant originally from Germany. He's lived in the UK for the last 18 years and he's in our radio car. Axel, you're in the process of becoming one of these people, applying for citizenship. Why? Uh, yeah, hello, Sean. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. Yes, I've been in the country for 18 years and I am considering um, applying for British citizenship. I'm married, I've got a British wife, I've got two uh, beautiful British children. I've never considered taking a British passport or becoming British because it wasn't necessary. But with Brexit and with the uncertainty and with us being now negotiated alongside uh, cars from Sunderland and uh, tomatoes and lettuces from um, <laughs> from Spain, <laughs> we want to see. I want to secure my life in here where where home is. Um, post 2019. You don't seriously feel that 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 future is threatened, do you? I mean, for all the the unwillingness to sort of make concrete commitments before similar commitments have been made by the other members of the EU, I mean, all the signals coming out of British government are, look, we want and expect people who are here already to remain here. At the moment, it's a lot of warm words and letters to MPs and even letters to us saying, yes, we want this, but... In reality, at the moment, we're protected through uh, EU law and our rights are protected through EU law. In 2019, once we exit, we are only protected by UK law. And UK law on immigration, it will put us at par with uh, non-EU immigrants currently. And yesterday's news about the spousal visas and how difficult it is, law changes and... uh, I am worried about more than just the right to stay and the right to work. I'm worried about uh, what happens to me should I fall ill or should I become disabled or what happens to my pension post-2019 once we are solely under the protection of UK law only. You're talking about laws and rights and all the rest of it, but, uh, but I sense from you that some of this is about mood, about atmosphere... Do you feel that, I mean, have you felt that things have changed for you since the result last year? Um, I think there's a, bit of, uh, there's a bit of apathy within, the, within, within, within society. They, they don't understand necessarily what, uh, what our mood is. I think the mood in the, in the, in the country has not changed drastically. Uh, I wondered if you felt it had changed towards you. Yes, I mean, it is, it is, it is things like uh, when I read about people getting their their mortgages, their mortgage applications frozen. It is about it's about uh, people personally um, mm. about people looking at me and saying, "Well, you you are, you are here." So some of the comments I get sometimes back when I'm when I'm on social media is. Well, you are here uh, uh, because we're granting you the right to stay here, um, and that is that is hurting after 18 years of being mm. part of society. Axel Anthony, I can imagine. Thank you so much for for talking to us about that. Axel Anthony, there, who's considering applying to become a British citizen, uh, although he's German-born and has lived here for the last 18 years.